you want to leave this place where we grew up? This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see and hear the water. Somebody recently requested a vlog with me playing piano. <laughs> so if you did request this, you're welcome. And if you didn't, I apologize for what's to come. Please remember, I only got this piano uh, a month and a half ago, so that's how long I've been practicing it, which means I haven't managed to master it yet. But I've been just having fun, you know, playing around with it, playing different tunes. And the reason why I don't have a problem reading sheet music and playing uh, with, you know, reading, reading music, is that I actually have a bit of music education. When I was a child, I went to music school and I uh, played violin between the ages of six and 12. And so I am very familiar with reading music for violin. Piano is a bit different, but the rules still apply. So I was able to kind of transfer <laughs> my skills of uh, reading music from the violin music to piano music. On top of that, when I was going to music school when I was a child, we had a requirement there, like all the kids going to that school, we had to pick a second instrument. So my first instrument was violin and then my second instrument was piano. So for about a year I was actually having piano lessons, but mind you that was like a lifetime ago. <laughs> Despite that, I've been actually really, really enjoying playing piano, you know, I've been having fun with it. I've been downloading different uh, tunes from the, from the internet, you know, like PDFs uh, with music that I could read. And I've been having so much fun with it, in fact, that I started to wonder, like, you know, if, if I was, you know, back when I was in music school, if I was actually allowed to play the kind of music that I wanted to play and that I enjoyed, like, would I actually end up a musician? Yeah, some food for thought. <laughs> when I was in music school, I did not enjoy any of the music I had to play. You know, um, we had to play all the, all the classical pieces and tunes and all the classical composers. So those six years when I was playing violin uh, in music school were actually very, very hard and frustrating years for me and things probably maybe would have been very different um, if I was encouraged to play something that I would actually enjoy or maybe if I was encouraged to play more piano because it's a lot of fun. Okay, let's play a few things and I feel like I'm gonna play you sort of a few little pieces first that I haven't fully mastered yet. Well, I haven't really fully mastered anything yet. <laughs> Month and a half, remember that. That's all that, that's the entire time I've had this piano for. So uh, not, not a long time. But I'm basically going to show you the different kind of things that I've been playing with and having fun with. And um, yeah, you can see for yourself how I'm, how I'm going with it. So this first piece, uh, I'm not gonna tell you straight away what it is, but you might guess, so have a listen. <laughs> beginning that comes from the movie Amelie. The music is by, by Jan 
Kirsten and I love, love his, his music. So it's just fun to play a little bit of it. And with time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to make play more. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's maybe do something very different and play a bit of Chopin <laughs> to uh, sort of honor a composer coming from my original country, from, uh, from Poland. And uh, this piece is one I particularly like. That was Chopin. I'm sure I didn't do him proud, <laughs> but that really wasn't the, the idea. Oh, Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. I haven't really been practicing this one, but that's not too complicated, so uh, let's give it a quick go.
Oh, Rosie's here? <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Hi, sunshine. She's not very keen on me playing piano. She usually interrupts me. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, whenever I start playing, she comes over and she uh, starts meowing or asking for things. Oh, she kind of interrupts me a bit. She's not a big fan of music, are you, puss? But that's okay. I'm always gonna love her regardless. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Puss needed a bit of attention. Okay, well, I've got a lot of different fun pieces here. Like, I have an, actually have Seven Nations Army. <laughs> and some pieces of Sting. And, oh, okay. So this is something, I'm gonna play you this one. This is something I have been working on and really enjoying having fun with it. This is main theme from the movie Interstellar. I have not watched the movie, uh, but after hearing the music that has been like really, really popular on the online for a while now, like I'm, I've been kind of hearing bits and pieces of it and I've been loving it, loving it. And I just feel like I absolutely have to watch the, the movie, but uh, I, I haven't yet. So hopefully that will come in time, but for now I can enjoy the soundtrack performed by Yours truly. <laughs> okay, let's try the main thing. Now I have been working on this one, so I'm gonna make an effort to play the whole thing, which is three pages. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you will enjoy it as much as I enjoy playing with it and having having fun with it.
Characteristically calm <laughs> while while I'm playing, which is strange and unusual. And um, usually she's just sitting there meowing and demanding attention. Uh, but this is new, this is different. Maybe she's getting used to it, which is good. But I think I might let her outside. She looks like she might need a bit of sun and fresh air. Gonna cry when you're gone. 